Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our playthrough of Dark Souls. It is time for us to explore An Orlando. Here we are at the An Orlando bonfire. Let's check things out. So, since our last episode, I did a little bit of farming, upgraded our sword a little bit, so we are now have a plus 10 uh, claymore. And we are now soul level 46. So in Orlando, a place of giants and normal sized humans, you can see giant spaces, huge archways, just really cool. So over on this side is where we came into Ann Orlando to begin uh, the stairs are right there in the background. Those are the stairs that we used to climb down from where the gargoyle dropped us off. There's a chest in here we want to go ahead and grab, so let's get that. Ooh, there we go. So first we have to deal with these big dudes. These guys are not super difficult at this point. We're going to draw one out. So the trick to them, first of all, don't fight close to the other one so he doesn't activate. Once you get in close, if you can do enough damage, they only take about three hits, even though they're giant. Come on, towards us, not towards the other one. And you can block most of their attacks, but what you want to do is just get in underneath their shield and hit them. If you hit their shield, you will... Did he hit us and I didn't notice? Weird. Um, if you hit their shield, it will bounce off completely. So, try to avoid that. Go ahead and draw this guy in. Do watch out for that one attack where they do the double hit, because it does get through your block. Oh, I just need to get closer. This is silly. Come on. Get in there, Grug. So once we're in, if you hit him, two hits will stagger if you do enough damage. And the third hit kills them outright. 1,500 souls apiece. Not too shabby. Well, let's go ahead and heal real quick. There we go. Don't need our pyromancy right now anyways. So, here we have a treasure chest chained to the back. Let's open it up. Some Demon Titanite. Awesome. Especially awesome because we are going to soon be coming up on an area where we have some access to different weapons. And the weapons we'll have access to require Demon Titanite to upgrade. So we're going to go across to the other side here. The only problem with Ann Orlando is it's so big. Look how far we have to run. Ridiculous. Alright, we'll run over here and take care of these guys. We got some messages. What do these say? Take a look. Try ranged battle. Oh. Well, that's a good giveaway. Alright, so let's draw one out. Come on, buddy. Again, we just want to avoid activating the other one. Ooh. That's a big hit. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. There you go. As you can see, not much difficulty. Again, one guy just outside we want to be careful of. Oh, hitting wrong buttons all over. Now you can also, if you're playing a different style easily roll underneath them as you can see and get under the shield um, as you've seen throughout the playthrough I am a sword and board man so a little bit different all right over here chain going down and back safe to open ah some twinkling titanite nice over here there's our giveaway chain facing away and towards us so 
Come on, buddy. Nice kick. I'm gonna roll past his kick. And just stay out of his grab. That's the big grab that's terrible if it gets you. Ooh, that was a bad, bad miss on our part. What does this guy drop us for all his trouble? Ooh, the crystal halberd. Take a look at that. Crystal halberd. Long hilted weapon mixing spear and axe is difficult to handle, requiring both strength and dexterity. The halberd has two elementary attacks spear like thrusting and large sweeping swings. However, one false swing and the wielder is left wide open. It is a crystal weapon, so you do have that problem. Weird striation on it. Shadow from somewhere. Huh. So another halberd. But we don't want those. Where's our... There he is. Our weapon of choice. Now over here, we really can't do anything yet, but I just want to show you where it's at. Uh, come on, buddy. Get up in here. Kind of get this guy lured out or we can fight him a little bit better. That, ooh, that one didn't hit me. Usually it does. Get it under his shield. Couple good whacks. Problem solved. Uh, occasionally they will drop. Uh, their shield is an item that you can pick up. So keep an eye out for it. The thing I want to show you up here we go around this big circle is this is where the Duke's archive is so remember you'll need to come back here later just remember to do that all right we're gonna head back down oh one second I have to break away from the action I'll be right back in a moment Sorry for the break there, folks. The cat was trying to get on top of the refrigerator. Terrible. All right. So let's head on back. Oh, so much running here in Anne Orlando without a lot of fighting. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make our way over to... Oh, come on, this elevator. So let's go ahead and step on it here. Don't keep running. It will not turn out well. And actually, once we get down here... Oh! off that now that elevator just continuously goes up and down I forgot about that now that we're up here though we are gonna go ahead and uh, no we should be fine with what we have actually no need to change out but we're about to meet an old friend down here somebody we haven't seen in a while look who it is it's a bell gargoyle, but you'll notice we have come so far 
that he is now just considered a regular enemy without a boss health bar. Which is pretty cool, if you think about it. Alright, come on, bro. Woo! We need to get around behind him. Oh, that big smack. I need to play a little bit better. I'm going to need to drink a health potion here in a second. Lock that. Get our heal. We're going to pay for it by getting hit. There we go. So from behind him, we can do quite a lot of damage. And I think we can stagger him as well. It doesn't help when that, hey, you broke off this guy's tail message doesn't get off the screen. All right, come on, bro. Give us a moment to heal up. Don't want to die here. Oh, look what Grug found, an edge you can fall off. Well known as my uh, best fighting technique. Ooh, this one shoots lightning. That's impressive. A little bit different than the ones we fought on top of the uh, bell tower. Woo. Come on, stop doing that jump around stuff. That's just silly. Nice block on there. Well, that was a fancy little move, dude. Just kind of keep circling around, keep working on him. Not too scary. And we got another Gargoyle Great Axe. It's kind of cool. So, next up, before we head that direction to that elevator, we are going to kind of check things out. And I want to point out this, uh, this thing right here, this little symbol. This leads to that cathedral uh, where you can do battle uh, with the painted world. We'll be going there eventually, just not right now. All right, let's see. Bound to be some items back this way, I'm sure of it. All right, that circles around that way. What do we have over here? Ah, there we go. Drop down here. Safe chest. And we have got some more Demon Titanite. Awesome. Ooh, so many places you could fall and die. Harrowing, I tell you what. All right, head back up. Now these stairs make more sense on why they're all the way back here. And I think, just to be safe, uh, we'll go ahead and... Uh, let me think here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grab this elevator back up real quick, refill our Estus, and then come back down. I'll meet you back down here once we do that. And we're back. All righty. So, wow, this mic is really hot today. Okay. Let's continue on. Just went back and uh, touched the bonfire. You'll notice that the gargoyle does not respawn. You only have to fight him once, which is always nice. But we'll keep heading on here. What do we have here? What does this say? Try jumping? No. Let's not try jumping. Uh, we need to get over there. Which I guess we will have to use this route. I forgot that you had to go this way. Huh. So we're going to head back here to this well-marked buttress. Check this out. Ooh. There we go. Head on up. 
try not to fall off. Uh, I went ahead and leveled up as well real quick. Uh, so we're at 3,000 souls left. I went and added a point into endurance. So from here, we can jump down safely to here. There we go. Oh, wow. Just people have left breadcrumbs all the way. So I guess we will have to go all the way over through this part to get where we need to go. So here we are up against, I think these are called the Painted Sentinels? I don't remember. What I do remember is they have throwing knives and they're jerks. Uh, they attack quite quickly and I think if I remember correctly, they're kind of hard to get behind. There we go. Eh, not too bad. Not the most difficult enemies, but they can be a pain. So we need to get from here to the other side. And you'll notice that their path is blocked down here, but there is a whole way up there we can go. Grab this ladder. Head on up. And you'll notice that we have some, I wouldn't call it platforming, but some catwalks we have to walk on here, which you don't want to be fighting these guys on the walk. So we're going to use our bow and arrow. Oh, we, did we get one? Nope, he's just looking over at it. We're going to draw them over to us. So that we only have to fight one at a time. And we can fight them here in this kind of safer, stable area where we have this platform. So we don't have to worry about being knocked off. I highly recommend this. Really? Come on, buddy. as opposed to any other way to fight him. Because if you fight him on those catwalks, there's a good chance that you are going to end up his artwork on the ground. Far enough? Nope. Just shy. A little too far to the side there. Try again. Uh, might be a little short, can't tell. Yes, just a bit. Hopefully this bow can do it. We might have to... Oh! So close! We might have to walk out there, though, to hit him. Oh, is your buddy activated? Is he going to come over here? Well, that's one way to take care of it. Let's see. Can we hit you from here? Come on. Come on, Grug. Be a better archer. Oh, that is so close. I think just the tiniest adjustment. One more, and then I'm giving up. One more after that. Oh, that's just so terrible. Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't even think I'm close, actually. So we're going to make our way halfway over there. Then I think we'll try to get his attention once we're closer and run him back. We will have plenty of time to adjust, so... What's this say? Try roll. Yeah, thanks, jerk. All right. Let's see if we can draw them from here. There we tagged him. Not, uh, 
Not interested in us, it would appear. Well, I know he actually is interested in us. There he comes. Uh, oh, we're just going to go right here. I guess we're going to wait for him here. While we're here, we can go ahead and... Chopped on that chain. What that did is lowered the chandelier. Oh, okay. Problem solved. What that did was lower the chandelier to the ground. It had an item on it. So we can pick that up later, which is cool. But right now, we're going to make our way slowly and safely across this catwalk. Whoa. Just scary enough, especially since all right, we are uh, we're back uh, here where we fell off. Just as I was about to say, it's scary for someone who's afraid of heights, like Grug. So, let's pick back up and hopefully not fall off. You can see I didn't bother drawing them out. Instead, I'm going to stand here, block their knives, and let them kill themselves. That is just a little bit faster than what I was doing with the bow. Woo! All right, one last painted guardian tonight. Yeah. Oh, here he comes. Just need to make sure we don't fall off here. Come on, buddy. At some point, hopefully, he'll decide to change his mind. And, uh... Come over to attack us. Maybe? There he comes. Woo! We had to wait him out. That was all. Oh, you've got to be joking. All right. Let's try to get across this supposedly simple section of the game. Oh, all right. We're down to this guy again. Yay, we recovered. Come on. Come over here and stop it with his knife throwing junk. Oh. I don't know if it's the AI just decides it wants to come at you or if they actually have a, an inventory of those. I'm not sure. All right, what do we got here? What are you going to do? All right. You're going to be a jerk. Well, then off you go. Problem solved, buddy. Enough of that nonsense. Woo! All right, we are so very close. Oh, what do we have? How do you get to that without dying? That's a darn good question. Uh, wait a minute. All right, so you can run through that one. There's the stairs down. And can you run through that one? It looks like you can. Well, you know what? While we're up here, let's just do everything we can. How would you get over there without falling to your de Ah, some stairs. Ah, you must have to run up. Okay. Ooh. 
Thought we were going to have to do some kind of suicide run for that. But we're not going to. As we look down upon uh, Gwendolyn here. And we made it. Woo! All right, folks. That's where we're going to end this episode. We'll continue through the chapel here on the next episode of Gaming with Grug. Thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, we hope to see you soon.